today I'm going to show you how to make broccoli gratin, the perfect side dish. It's very delicious. You can use it for any occasion. It's got a creamy white sauce, cheese, and also a crumb topping. We're going to start by preparing our broccoli. Now I've got some fresh broccoli and I'm just going to take the florets off and we'll get started with that. We're just going to take a knife and we're going to cut around the broccoli head to cut off all of the little florets. And they look like little trees. You just want to make sure that they're bite-sized pieces so people can enjoy it. Then once we get all these cut off, we'll just rinse these off. Now you can certainly use the stalks of the broccoli for like a broccoli slaw. That'd be really good. Okay, I have all of my broccoli here. You should have about six cups of the broccoli chopped up. And you can take a look at it, and if you need to just kind of give it a little cut, you can do that. Just to make sure everything is the same size so it cooks evenly. What I'm going to do now is place it into a colander, and then we're going to rinse it really good. Now you can use frozen broccoli for this dish if you want to do that. I would thaw it out and then just kind of drain it really well so you don't have a lot of water in the dish. All right, I'm going to go rinse this out and come right back. Once we get it rinsed off, we're going to put it into a large pot, add a little bit of water. That's good right there, about halfway up the broccoli. We're going to put this on the back burner. We're going to put it on high heat. We're going to bring the broccoli to a boil with the lid on it for five minutes. We want the broccoli to be nice and tender, but we don't want it to be mushy. So get to that kind of crisp stage and I'll show you what that is. While the broccoli is simmering, we can go ahead and start toasting our breadcrumbs and that way we have that ready. So I'm going to place one tablespoon of butter into a small skillet. We're going to cook that on medium-high heat. We're going to allow that to melt. We're going to add half a cup of breadcrumbs. Now these are plain, so they're not seasoned. Or you can use panko crumbs if you want to use those. So we're just going to measure out half a cup and add that. I'm just going to move the breadcrumbs around. We want to get them nice and toasty. Make sure they're nice and coated with the butter. Now once the butter gets into the breadcrumbs, it's going to take on a little thicker consistency than when it was just regular breadcrumbs. We're going to go ahead now and turn off the burner. Make sure you take it off of the heat and we're just going to allow it to sit until we're ready for it. We're going to go ahead now and make that white cream sauce. We're going to start in a medium skillet. We're going to add three tablespoons of butter. All right, we're going to melt this on medium high heat to get this step going. Now, if your broccoli is done, go ahead and strain it and make sure all the water's out of it and let it sit there so it can dry out just a little bit. All right, we've got our butter sizzling. We're going to go ahead and add three tablespoons of all purpose flour. We're going to stir this around with a whisk and keep stirring for one minute. It means put your timer on. We're cooking the flour for one minute. What it does is it cooks out the raw flavor of the flour. All right, our one minute is up. We're going to go ahead now and slowly add in one and a half cups of milk while we're stirring. All right, we're going to bring this to a boil while we're stirring, and then we're going to add in some seasonings. We're going to start with eighth of a teaspoon of salt, eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. Probably everything is going to be about an eighth of a teaspoon. Garlic powder and some onion powder.
All right, once it comes to a boil, we're gonna turn down the heat to a medium low. All right, we're gonna cook this down until it gets thick. Make sure you give it a taste. See if you need to add any more seasonings or adjust anything at this time. Mm-hmm, that's good. All right, we have a nice consistency with our cream sauce. We're gonna go ahead and turn the burner off and get our baking dish ready. And we're only using an eight by eight for this recipe. If you wanna double the recipe, you can use a nine by 13. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter into the bottom of the baking dish. Then I'm just gonna take my brush, pastry brush, and just smear it around till we cover the bottom, the sides, and the corners. And go up. Take your broccoli that you've steamed. Look at how pretty that is. We're gonna place it into the bottom of our dish. It's tender, but it's not mushy. It's kind of a crisp tender. All right, just spread it out evenly. Yeah, we're not gonna forget about the cheese. <laughs> if you can, try the sharp cheddar cheese with this dish. It adds a nice flavor to it. And you don't lose that cheese flavor. You know, it's just a mild version. So I'm gonna place four ounces of cheese across the top of the broccoli. And I didn't salt my broccoli because the cheese has salt in it and also the sauce that we made has it. We're gonna take that delicious white creamy sauce and we're gonna pour it all over. Use it all. All right, I'm gonna take a spatula, just smear that out a little bit. Make sure everything is coated. You know, this is au gratin, so it's gotta be creamy. And the au gratin means cheesy too, right? So it's almost like you're making cheesy au gratin potatoes. But I'm right, we'll bring the breadcrumbs over. But we're gonna finish with four ounces of sharp cheddar cheese again, right across the sauce. We're gonna take that breadcrumb mixture and we're just gonna sprinkle that across the top of the cheese. We're gonna place this in our oven that's been preheating at 450 degrees. That's right, 450 degrees. We're using the middle rack in our oven. We're gonna bake this for about 20 minutes till the cheese has melted. The au gratin is bubbly and the top is golden brown. I know y'all can't wait for me to dig into this one. Look at how golden brown that is. It was nice and bubbly. I let it sit on the countertop for about 10 minutes so it's not so hot. Let me get a spoon and dive in. Look at that creaminess, that cheesiness. There's my bite. Mm. Mm. If y'all are looking for a different way to make broccoli, You've got to try this au gratin version. That's delicious. I love the crunch on the top. What a fun way, right? Okay, y'all give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more recipes like this one here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification. That way you'll know when all of my recipes are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.